EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup between the Arizona Cardinals and the Los Angeles Rams. On the return, it's Simba Webster. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. There's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. At their own 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. A shotgun snap for Goff. That's complete to his tight end, Higby. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll check on his status when we get back. Receivers, three of them being sent to the left, one to the right, second and four. Goff now looks to throw. And the open receiver, it's Robert Williams. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It's a first down on a gain of 10. First and 10 at the 47 yard line. to throw. Goff. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he'll take this from 147 yard line to the other. A gain of six. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion. So here's second and four. Again, Goff. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. The confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sideline thinking themselves and expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. The 34-yard line. To the air again, golf. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. First and <laughs> I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Down to the 25. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move him off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. From the 25 on second down, golf. They'll get this with the cup complete. And he's going to be down inside the 20 at the 15. It's a first down on a gain of 10. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. From the red zone now, golf. His throw caught. 
Browns are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. 11 more on that one and another first down. This passing's been on point on this drive, hasn't it? Been very accurate, gotten the ball downfield, gained nice chunks of yardage, but now in this situation, the field is really condensed, partner. So if he's going to throw the football, that would be pinpoint here. Yeah, so I was going to ask you about that. Field shrinks. Has and this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown. Josh Reynolds there to make the grab. And the Rams are going to take a first quarter lead. Right off the bat, they start with a very solid, methodical 10-play drive. And you know me. I tend to look at things from the defensive side. They're coming off the field gassed right away. We're in the first drive of the game. So it's not just what happened, but think of the emotion you carry into a game. Then double it with getting a 10-play drive put on you and points scored. They're pretty tired right now. It's up, it's good, and the Rams take a 7-0 lead. Makes the score, Rams 7, Cardinals nothing. Touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Cardinal offense now making their way back out onto the field. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at about the 32. And he'll drop here to throw. Rolling to his right. He'll try and run it. And he'll be taken down by the face mask, it appeared. And yes, out come the flags. The official is so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hand having to wonder whether it's a five yard or a 15 yard inadvertent or not now it's a lot easier you see it you call it so a big penalty there on the face mask leads to first and ten Murray a give this is Drake and he's going to get stopped up quickly give him a yard down to the 43 Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Out of the gun, here's Murray. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Drake, and he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down, so hang on. A big call coming on third down. Easy to see. I notice that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you <laughs> did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. And the penalty makes this a much more manageable third down. Third and two. They'll run with Drake. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. 
Yeah, the offensive line really didn't give him any room to maneuver on that play. Things closed pretty quickly, didn't they? And how about the wrap up at the end of that tackle? Left no doubt there would be no additional yardage to be found. That's on target, but it's no good. He had it on line, but it came up just shy of the crossbar. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, why, why I wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Have to give credit for a nice play there, but also have to look at it as a blown assignment. He became a free runner that turned into a free hitter. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Goff going to give this one to Henderson. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or also just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. The card's going nickel. An extra defensive back out there now on third down. From the gun, here's Goff. Gets this into the hands of the tight end, Higby. The completion there winds up a wash, and it'll bring up fourth down. I just make this one simple. Could he be any more open than he was on that play? Yeah, they lost him going to the outside. Hard to believe because you go through your accounting on each and every defensive snap. Who's got who, what, what defense you're in. That was totally a blown coverage. On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down close to the goal line at the one-yard line. Amazing. Perfectly placed. If that ball goes one extra yard, maybe not even an extra yard, the starting point is the 20. So there is a reason that a lot of punters are also excellent golfers. They know distance control. You know what else they have? Same groove motion over and over. Once they have that down, it repeats under pressure. They'll start the drive with Drake. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. They were just trying to get their offense a little more room down near their own goal line, but this is just going to make things worse. Second and 11. On second and 11 now. Murray, Fitzgerald on the slant. And they finally get him down at the other 46. Complete to the a Larry big play there on the catch and run. 53 yards. That was so well timed. Just a perfect throw on the slam. Hit him on the move, didn't he? Now he's going against the grain of the defenders coming over to try and stop him. That allowed for that additional yardage downfield. First and ten, here's Murray. Trying to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. Picked up by John Johnson. Pass the 20, and he will bring it back. It's an interception return for a Rams touchdown. And this defense looking like they have come to play the pick six, and just like that, it's 13-0 early on. Well, go back with me to our training camp visit. What do we hear during these drills? Oh, pass. pass. Ball. Ball's in the air. And then my favorite. Oski. That's the interception. <laughs> that means everybody finds someone to block. Block them legally. Stay on your feet. And they get it done. Touchdown. The extra point by Gay is up and good. And it's now 14 to nothing. It's nothing.
Yeah. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This taken in about four yards deep. And it will come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10. Drake will start the drive on the ground. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Aaron Donald. It'd be hard to say that a defense wouldn't be ready for a first down run. And when you can gain that kind of yardage against a defense that's really kind of geared to stop that play, your confidence has to rise. And now you've actually opened up your playbook. If you want to throw the ball now for play action, you're good to go. From the 29, Murray. Fitzgerald's got it right side. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. First down, Arizona. Jet sweep. Here's Fitzgerald. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Well, that's the danger, Charles, of running plays like this for your wide receiver. They can hit big or they can be duds. Yeah, you're exactly right about that because if they're forced to try and go around defenders behind the line of scrimmage, sometimes you can get yardage in order to gain it. But in this case, they get... And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Leonard Floyd, the old Georgia Bulldog, finding his way into the backfield. Well, someone's been up to the task so far in this game. They are already up a couple of scores, Brandon, and guess what? I think they're just going to pin their ears back now and get up field, get after the quarterback. Been such an impressive first half to get that lead. Murray going to run play action with Drake and look to throw it. And that will be incomplete. This offense has definitely been slow getting out of the gate. It's almost like they missed their wake-up call for this one. No points on their first two possessions, and now it's looking like none on this one either. On fourth down, here's Andy Leon to kick it away. Los Angeles and they're coming off a three and out my friend I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving okay so how do you do that how do you shake things up you look at what you've called before realize it hasn't worked <laughs> go to so something well, else and maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area it's a seven yard carry to set them up with a second and three but you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while, because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Out of the gun. Gone. That'll be caught by Cup. And he'll have it past midfield, almost to the 40, before being taken down. A gain there of 21 yards. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 41. I got a man over the middle. It's Woods. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five at the Cardinals' 36-yard line. They'll run with Henderson. And he'll be upended at the 33, following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. On the stop. It's a gain of three. Brings up third and two.
Henderson will try and run for the first. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. It's a gain of 11 and a first down L.A. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. Henderson now on first and 10. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Sometimes in the run game, you can make the argument the quickness beats size. How about the example right here? Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. They'll try the air now with golf. And a quick throw here. That's complete. That one good for the completion percentage, but no gain. It'll be third down. Now the old pass completion for no gain, not something you want to call up out of the playbook too often. Yeah, most offensive coordinators don't have that on their play sheet, so they've got to go back and scramble after this one. But right now, with what they're telling receivers about making sure you take care of the ball in open field, sometimes the fighting for extra yardage doesn't come as a result. That and good tackling can lead to no yards gained. Third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. They'll look to run with Henderson, and this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Well, I know defensive coordinator is going to be pretty excited by what he just saw there. Great knockback by their front. And now with the ball where it is, I would expect to see the offense throw the ball on second and third down here. Second down and goal. Goff to the goal line, but it's incomplete. The intended receiver, Josh Reynolds. But now it's third and goal. You're down two touchdowns. You just know defensively, you absolutely have to come up with a big play. That nearly was one right there. Looked over at the sideline immediately after the drop and just saw the dejection. They felt it. They thought he had it. Unfortunately, couldn't come up with it. Now Goff on third and goal. And he's going to be dropped back at the 15-yard line. Angelo Blackson. Able to get him down for a loss of 11. And it brings up fourth down. Matt Gay, Matt Gay now gets ready for the field goal try. 32-yard attempt. And Gay knocks this one through. And the lead will grow. It's now 17-0. So a dozen plays on that drive, CD, but in the end, it yields just the three points. Well, they were able to keep the defense on the field for a long time, but let's be honest about it. That's about as unsatisfying a drive as you're going to get. 12 plays and you only get three points out of it. Not quite the ending they were looking for. ready to set up shop. They're down 17 nothing, really needing to find that offensive spark on this drive as they have it with a first and 10. Now Drake. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. He was brought down at the 26. I think they want to start getting back into this game. It behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. 
running. It's Drake. Now he's up in it after a gain of two out to the 27. Aaron Donald on the stop. A two-yard gain on the play. And it's third down. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. From the gun, Murray. And a throw there going to be incomplete. He'll kick it away for the second time. Good coverage there holds him to just a two-yard return following a punt of 44. And the Rams will go on offense here for the first and 10. lead the Rams up here first and 10 at their own 28 yard line and from the shotgun he'll throw looking sideline incomplete Robert Woods former USC man the intended target but it'll be second down yeah that one sailed on him you've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down in bounds because they are very gifted they'll make the circus catches but they make them out of bounds that does you no good second down it's henderson and he'll slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. he'll get only three there so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Throwing on third. Golf. Dre Kirkpatrick there on the coverage. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Christian Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you don't down. want to. We know, but oh, let me finish. Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you just you called it I think you just called a desperation time. I, I think did. you did. But yeah. let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating to use a boxing analogy. And yeah, that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. Another big play there by Aaron Donald, the NFL's Defensive Player of the Year in 2017 and 18. We know he can rush the passer. He's also dominant in the run game. The quickness for a man his size often defeats the offensive lineman trying to block him. Third and two, and here's Murray. He's got a man. It's Williams. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. First down. It's been a very one-sided game so far. they got to change what they're doing right now, don't they? You can't wait till the halftime speech to make an adjustment. No, you can't, because if you're doing it right, you're adjusting from series to series, and they need a big adjustment here to try and put some points on the board. Shotgun now for Murray. Got a man over the middle. It's Williams. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. 
Brings up second. Yeah, that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Operating from the gun. Murray airing this one out for Fitz. That's caught at the 25. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. It's a gain of 34. That's an excellent read right there. Saw cover one. That means it's just a single high safety. So you know if you throw the ball to the outside part of the field, help is going to be a little bit late getting there. And he puts one out there for a big-time completion. On first down, Drake. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Now a handoff for Drake, and he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. They just keep trying, but so far, finding no room for him to run. Not none whatsoever. In fact, you run the numbers. He's under three yards a carry at the moment. The offense on third down tonight, they've only converted once in four tries. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. On the give, this is Drake. And he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. I always appreciate runners who understand situations. That was just third and inches. No reason to dance around in the backfield and try and break off a bigger play. Just go pick up the first down, and that's exactly what he did. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. And now Murray's going to set up the throw. And this is caught. Touchdown. Wait, hold a second here. Flag down. Let's see if this will stand. And yes, they want the points, so they will <laughs> decline the penalty. No question there. You don't think they spent a couple seconds mulling over with the penalty? I don't even do know them? why they asked the sideline. Not at all. When you put the ball in the end zone on a takeaway, take the points Zane and keep Gonzalez moving. Zane Gonzalez on for the extra point. And it's 17-7. Seven. Makes the score Rams 17. Cardinals 7. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. On the return comes Webster. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. L.A. set to take over again on offense. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. That's taken in, complete to Reynolds. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. First and 10 at the 39-yard line. Goff now looking to throw. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. A good 
pickup, 17 yards, and also a Rams first down. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing, but as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. A shotgun snap for gone. will signal for a timeout their second as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. Another try after the first down sack. Goff. He'll get this underneath to Henderson. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Henderson. That's a gain of nine. Makes it third and 11. From the gun on third down. Goff. That's taken in by Henderson. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. It's a gain of 11 and a first down L.A. First and 10 at the 34-yard line. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. On the left hash, officially it's called a 51-yard attempt. And this one is right down the middle. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. All that remains of this first half is the kick is away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The football going back over to Arizona now. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. All that remains is to snap this once, and that'll do it for the first half of play. So we've reached the intermission in what right now is a 13-point game. As we send you to our EA Studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. So here's the Cardinals' offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. 
He starts by handing this off to Drake. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. It's a loss of four on the first down play. If these guys are going to chop into that deficit, they got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage would be found. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. From the gun, Murray. It's caught on the right side, Williams. Complete six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. A six yards, and it's third down. Operating from the gun, Murray. He'll buy some time right. He may try and run for this. And a good job defensively. They stopped him short of the first at the 32. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short gain. Here's Andy Lee now as he's on to punt for Arizona. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. Out come the Rams. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some <laughs> gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. They'll run with Henderson here to begin the drive. Gets this to the 24 for a gain of four. Well, we all know the guy carrying the ball is going to get the credit, both in the stat line and probably in the newspaper. But guess what? Those guys creating holes, they couldn't feel better about themselves right now. Offensive line, tight end, probably even the wide receivers are involved. They're moving the ball well. From the 24, Goff. They'll find Henderson there. It's complete. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. That one, a first down pickup of eight. But they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. On first down, it's gone. He's going to loft it deep right sideline. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off course. I may be an analyst, but I'm also a fan. I love it when people take the big shots downfield, but he was under a lot of duress. And I think that forced the incompletion downfield. Didn't have a real good chance to find his target. Back to the air. Golf on second down. Pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one close quickly and helped force the incompletion. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Throwing again is gone. This pass complete to Reynolds. And he's going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. Had a little arc on it. He's got to find a way to get his head around and make the play on the football. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Three yards the gain there, second down. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Again, gone. 
is incomplete. He was looking for Josh Reynolds that time. And that takes us from second to third down. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. A short game that doesn't get him the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. Henderson going to run for it. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. It'll be a gain of four. And they're able to pick up the conversion here on fourth down. Good spot on the field to go for it. Kind of no man's land, as they call it. It worked out. Yeah, they call it no man's land because your punter's telling you it's too short. I'm just going to punt it into the end zone. Your field goal kicker might give you a little raised eyebrow. Might be too far for the field goal. So it gives you the cards get to him here. He's brought down for a sack. Hassan Reddick. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest ones maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean, but in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability and a sack resulted. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. But there wasn't much there with that hitch route. They didn't gain what they expected. But sometimes when you call a hitch, you really don't have an alternate to go to. You don't have a second route to throw it to. So sometimes you have to rifle in there and hope for the best. Third and long. It's gone. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Well, you can see what they wanted to do. They wanted to set up the screen there, but it got blown up. It's hard to run that play if you're not getting a lot of pressure at the quarterback because the space doesn't open up. They were able to read that one and slow it down and stop it before they could get a first down. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Now listen, now, no kick from 50-plus is a gimme, but here you're indoors in a dome. You'd think ideal conditions. Yeah, and it's one that he would expect himself to make, not just us expecting him to make it. Over the years, my theory is very simple. The athletic ability of kickers continues to get better and better. Check their background. They were all county, all state, and other positions, not just soccer players. These guys expect themselves to be great as well. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Out of the gun, here's Murray. They'll roll him out right. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. No one there to help out downfield, but no problem. Scrambling for 22 and a first. Now those are the ones that hurt defensively. You do everything right. Excellent pressure, good coverage downfield, and then he slips out the back door and turns it into a nice game. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. From the gun, Murray on the slant complete to Hopkins. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision. And receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. They'll run on first down. Drake, and he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. 
Oh, they go with a tight end carry. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. They give him two yards there as they're set up now with a first and goal. So a decent deficit at this stage in the second half. Four down territory? No doubt about it. There's not a chance that he hasn't looked ahead and said, okay, if we gain yardage on this play, this is what we'll do going forward. If we lose yardage, this is the play call that I'll have ready. They'll try to run with Edmonds. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. Do you think after that last run, they're thinking to themselves, we had to wait all day to play this night game, and we're still not able to run the ball the way we want to? Yeah, this defense, they've risen to the challenge all evening long. Second and goal from the one. They'll try and pound it in with Dre. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. It's a loss of two, now third down. That's a nice example of good team defense right there. Ball was snapped at the one-yard line. They knocked him back and caused a loss. But you notice they were trying to find any type of a gap to run through. Wasn't one available. And they stuffed the play right there in the middle of the field. Out to his left. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Cardinals have cut it to within a score. But that's what you want to see from your quarterback when it's a goal line situation. A guy who's not afraid to tuck the ball, give his body up, and get into the end zone. That ought to inspire his entire team. And he'll bang that one through. Makes the score Rams 20, Cardinals 14. Zane Gonzalez. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. And this will make it into the end zone. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. L.A. readies for its next possession. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. He'll set up the throw from the gun. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. That was a nice job defensively of disguising their coverage and making it difficult for the quarterback to lock in on a receiver. And it results in an incomplete pass. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Now Goff. A quick pass to Cup. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. That's good. A gain of 13. It's a first down. First and ten at the 38-yard line. From the gun, here's Goff. And got a man over the middle, it's Woods. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Good work after the catch, going to net him 23 and a first. Rams first down. First and 10 at the 39-yard line. To the air again, Goff. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. Call it a pickup of seven, and it'll make it second down. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three at the 32-yard line. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. 
Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Go off throwing again. They'll get this one to Cup complete. It'll be a three-yard gain, and they'll be faced with a third and inches. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. Golf throwing complete to Cup. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. It's a gain of 11 and a first down L.A. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. From the red zone now, Goff. This will be caught just inside the 10. And he's able to work it here to the 8-yard line. There's 7 yards on the play, and it'll make it a second down. Second and three at the 8-yard line. Force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Well, they've had success getting the ball to him out of the backfield, but this time they had a man right on him. He was able to break that play up before he could get started. The Rams on third down. They've hit on half of them. Five for ten. Here it's third and three. Gone. And it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown. The connection there, Goff to Cooper Cup, and the Rams tack on to their advantage. A lot of people might call this backyard football. Sometimes just understanding who you've got out wide and who you're going to throw it to. Give him an opportunity to go up and make a play, even when contested. Looks like that one worked out pretty well. The trust factor, in effect. And this one's caught. And their fourth quarter lead grows by a couple more. He hits the big target for the two-point try. <laughs> Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. the 26 yard line just across the 25. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. After the long touchdown drive we just saw you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time too. Had to sit over there for a little while didn't they? You know they were eager amped up to get back on the field after just scoring hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen so I'd say come out just kind of get started again. You know doesn't have to be anything dramatic just get moving get loose again and see if they can get it downfield. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. Three yards the gain there, second down. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. Probably 
when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. From the gun, Murray. That's going to be caught by Kirk. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. It's a gain of 11 and a Cardinal first down. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. Yeah, he's going to keep it here. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. And now the Rams have got it going the other way. And the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And they sit in a good spot, having the ball back after the fumble recovery and up two scores in the fourth quarter. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. A drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. Now, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down L.A. So with a yardage on that completion, he's now right at exactly 300 yards on the game. And isn't that the magic number you get? All right, 300. That means it's going to go on a commemorative football to put on your mantle when they give you the game ball if your team wins. So much confidence flowing through him right now, throwing the football. I think it's permeated itself throughout the entire team. They feel good about what they're doing. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Tackled by Isaiah Simmons. Brings up second and seven at the 40-yard line. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. A shotgun snap for gone. Well, that'll be caught by Cup. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Per Cup. It's a gain of five. Brings up third and two. The Rams on third down. They've converted six times and could use a seventh here. Here it's third and two. On the carry is Henderson. And he's going to get to the 31. Enough for the first down. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter. Looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips. They're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys are just saying, let's just keep running it out. And we've got them now. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Well, so much for getting separation. No chance there. Locked down tight, forcing the incompletion on that attempt. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Now gone. And that will be incomplete. And this is too far behind his man. He missed him. It's incomplete. Sets up fourth down. Matt Gay now gets ready for the field goal try. This to make it a three-score game late. Gay's kick is good. And that'll push the lead up to 17. 
So with that, you figure yeah, this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down. But don't change that channel. Don't go away. Miracles can happen, and you want to be here in case it does. You're a company man. Now, aren't I, though? to the 25. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And the complexion of this one has really changed a fair amount. That last field goal makes it a three-score game, so they need points in a hurry with time dwindling in the fourth quarter. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 24. And he'll drop here to throw. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. And there's the beauty of Kyler Murray because we all know he can get it done through the air. Terrific right arm. And nowadays, we don't even talk about his height anymore. He's shown that he can see downfield and make throws. But he also possesses wide receiver speed. He can call his own number or scramble and turn it into a big play as well. Kyler Murray, a dual threat at the quarterback position. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. It's a game One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Looking to throw again on second down. Murray. And now he's going to use his legs. Murray with a nice move. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams' 32-yard line. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. Containing him is becoming a big problem. We've already seen this once earlier on this drive. Yeah, and so now two times this has happened. Do you adjust something? Yeah, I think you do. I think you got to start thinking about your rush lanes. Try not to either get too wide or too narrow. Make sure someone is there waiting for him to take off. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. And the Cardinal first down. Shotgun now for Murray. And that's complete. It's the tight end, Daniels. Not much there, only a yard. Boy, the evolution of the game and how these guys on plays like that can get out of the pocket, keep plays alive, it just makes things so much harder for defenses. It really does, and we're talking about an era in the game where the quarterbacks are the most athletically gifted that we've seen in a bunch. I mean, when you talk about collectively, it's unbelievable. So their ability to move is practiced now. It's not necessarily, oh, he just took off and you guys figure it out. When he takes off, everyone knows where to go now. They know how to run routes, change things, make themselves presentable for the quarterback. It's a lot of time that they put in on it. It's not just your static one, two, three. This is where the ball goes anymore. Looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Call it a loss of two on the play. And that'll make it second and goal. At the Rams' five-yard line. from the gun. Murray steps 
away to his left. He'll run it. And he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. This likely a must-have, third and goal. From the gun, Murray. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. It's Larry Fitzgerald from Kyler Murray. And the Cardinals get a bit closer. And that touchdown puts us in a position to have a discussion, doesn't it? Now, it'll be a two-score game after the conversion. Yeah, I mean, there's no doubt with a two-score game, they're going to have to onside kick it. We'll just see if they've got a miracle up their sleeve. And you wonder what onside kicks they're going to use and in what sequence if they hope to have a chance to win this game. Gonzalez good on the extra point, And the lead is trimmed down to 10. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the hands team for the right. And now a fumble. The ball's out. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics will tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't all you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And a few kneel downs should come very close to finishing this one off, depending on whether or not we see any defensive timeouts. They still have two, but using them would just be prolonging what's really already been decided. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. Again, it's Henderson. And little room to maneuver there. He gets it down to about the 39. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. going to give this one to Henderson. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. That's a fumble that when they get to the sidelines, I know you're mad, coach, but look, we've still got this locked down, but that's not necessarily true, is it? You no, know, their hopes are slim, but you just hate to give them any hope. You could have sealed it right there. Yeah, could have finished them off and, and taken away all hope, as we like to say. Should put a conclusion to this one. 
Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about <laughs> doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. Well, I know it points in this when you wanted to close your eyes because of all the points that were being put on the scoreboard, you're a defensive guy, but it was a fun little track meet, wasn't it? It was, and you know the people really enjoyed this game? They're the ones that like going to batting practice at the Major League Baseball <laughs> parks, right? Seeing the 14-11 to 11 game, that sort of deal, that's right up their alley with what we saw in this one. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from Los Angeles.